The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour. And, uh, well, we've got a market that's down a little bit. Uh, as I said yesterday, I was really starting, to, uh, well, actually, even the day before. Uh, and even Friday started seeing signs of weakness in the market. Uh, we had kind of a phony bounce on what I thought was uh, a... Uh, dubious uh, ceasefire news. Uh, everybody thought it was just going to go right back up to the highs. We have had almost zero, um, but not zero, uh, shorts in the market. Uh, the uh, usual suspects, uh, five or ten, are heavily shorted. Everybody wants to short NVIDIA and AMD. We'll get to AMD, too, today. But uh, everybody wants to, wanted to, you know, there's a handful of them, but uh, uh, 7,000 other stocks that trade with volume, eh, not much. Um, so as we continue to take a look at this market, there just isn't a lot of reason to drive it higher. We're going to look at a couple of stocks that look like they could easily close back into the trading ranges they broke out of, and these are the leaders that we've been looking at. Um, stocks uh, kind of like Micron yesterday, you have uh, pretty good earnings, but uh, they fade by the end of the day. There's a lot of stuff going on out here. None of it's really uh, going to make the market better. Uh, the market uh, or the market participants, I should say, better because it's really uh, what they call the Keens Beauty Contest, which is you're not trying to find the most beautiful girl in the contest and pick her. You're trying to pick the one that everybody else is going to pick. Everybody wants uh, the, to uh, be the right one. And Keynes came up with that beauty uh, contest as the idea behind what you're really doing in the market. You want to pick what everybody else is doing when you're long. And, of course, uh, the weak stock when everybody uh, uh, is uh, on the other side of that market. But uh, there just wasn't much. Um, the push was ridiculous. There wasn't the volume or near the volume we needed. Uh, almost days we were five or six billion shares short of what we had here previously when we were up in these areas. So there wasn't a lot there. But as I said, uh, you know, I started my first short position, I think, on Friday or Monday. was a little early with that. Uh, I'm back into the ball game now with it. I've added uh, two additional positions, but uh, my first position uh, is a fairly long call out here that could go into May uh, before we see any meaningful bounce, if I am correct. Now, I could be wrong. Things could change, but um, pretty much all the stuff that we that, that was wrong is just getting wronger. It's not getting any better. Um, and, uh, well, we'll talk about a lot of that. Uh, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, eh, that's kind of it. But uh, let's go here. Did I – I forgot to get to something. Oh, we did this yesterday. War news is bad. We inverted cherry, more cowbell, moon, you fade. Oh, I forgot to get to this one, I think. I didn't get to Yeti on sale. Uh, and ARC graphics. I knew there were a couple of them I wanted to get to. Uh, first uh, is uh, I keep a, since I'm sitting around here all day long, uh, I tend to watch uh, the deal sites. Those are websites that show uh, the best deals going on. And if I need something uh, or if I'm looking for something, I'll set alarms and they go off. But occasionally I find stuff that's... Uh, Incredibly cheap, let me put it that way, and I'll buy some of the stuff. But uh, one of the things you haven't seen for a very long time, I was talking about boating yesterday, and I was going to talk about this Yeti because uh, uh, boating is one of these uh, 
sports where everybody, especially around here, they go off uh, shore 50 miles. They buy these big, expensive Yeti coolers and throw lots of ice in it. And, of course, they may spend the whole day or several days out fishing, you know, 25, 50 miles offshore. So they've got to hold that ice, and these things will hold them for five, uh, five days or so. Great coolers, massively overpriced by at least 50%. You can buy pretty much the identical thing now for that. I always didn't understand how these guys long term were going to hold those margins. Uh, but the interesting thing on that one is when I start seeing sales on products that I've never seen sales on, that's it. When you see 30% or 40% off on Yeti on a big cooler, I think that tells you something. And I brought up the, the whole people selling boats yesterday, too. And it was kind of tacked on to that because that is one of the big places. Uh, I think about half their business uh, isn't people at, uh, at uh, tailgating uh, in the middle of the winter. It's uh, sportsmen, fishermen, people out that are and do need ice to hold for three, four, five days. But, uh, you know, this thing way off the highs, 108. 82 it's you know almost off 50 it did get down to 50 percent off and people just bought it thinking well 50 percent off has got to be good i know some great jokes and i just cannot tell them on air but i'm laughing on the inside so uh anyway as we look at these that was the first thing uh the second one actually is apropos today uh we had uh kind of a hit piece come out uh from barclays uh, on advanced micro and you always wonder about when everybody gets all short and they're ready to, to pull the trigger uh, that you get the uh, bad news. Um, I always, I, I, you know, 50th anniversary of The Godfather this week, uh, the best movie ever made. And when I go to Rotten Tomatoes and find somebody that actually one of the 50 people that reviewed it back then said it was a bad movie, probably the best movie of all time. I want to find that guy. Anyway, I do digress. Uh, but uh, in that movie, they talk. Uh, he's talking about, uh, you know, uh, killing the uh, corrupt police officer. And he goes, uh, hey, we got people in the newspapers right on the payroll. Yeah, yeah, we can get them to say something like, uh, hey, a cop got messed up in drugs and got what he deserved. Uh, this is Michael before he has to leave uh, town for several years. Uh, but uh, I always find that uh, these self-deserving uh, downgrades are generally served right after everybody gets short one of these things. So I'm going to be very interested to see. Um, but um, yesterday, uh, Intel also uh, did something, and that is they came out uh, with their first video card. Uh, it's only in laptops, uh, laptops at the moment. Uh, but uh, not only um, AMD, but uh, I heard some wacky talk today from uh, Jim Cramer. We all know who Jim Cramer is. Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Cramer. Well, they're saying that Intel is going to give up the uh, give up the uh, the uh, quarterly dividend and other stuff like that. It's just interesting to see how everybody flips from one day to another when it's in their self-interest on. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So as we return, we're down uh, oh, yep. down 26 points on the S&P cash. And uh, after the tear up, it just seems like 26 points might as well be 260, doesn't it? Uh, people just uh, are in shock, a little shock and awe on being down 26 points on a day after being up 50 or 100 on a day. I suspect this is going to be much more the character for a while, which is we're probably going to have some sharp up days but a lot more of these middling days generally if you get a lot of volume and a lot of movement very quick it's over it's just very tough to sit through those huge days the same thing on the way up if they're if it's too hot it's the three it's the uh, three bears with uh, cinder fella and she just needs to have the uh, the right one and not too cold not too hot just right that center one and, uh, you know, this is, if you want these things to run for a while and get a trend, this is kind of it. I do kind of like that even down here today, we can't really draw, or I'm not seeing a lot of people draw much in the way of any kind of short interest out here. Again, everybody's probably piling on AMD, but I, that's one out of 7,000 stocks. Granted, it's got a bigger part on it. Um, other things I wanted to get to was uh, FC uh, was uh, MSFT. This is the one I think is probably most important if this closes back down. You did test uh, a couple of days ago the previous high that had 46 million shares. You only had 30 million shares at best. Um, yesterday you had 28 million shares. Today you're down on not a whole lot, but this is the best of the best, right? This is not. Uh, the other 95% of the market that everybody uh, ignores for the most part. There was a great book called Iceberg Risk that talked about uh, a lot of what people ignored in the market, but they only kind of look at the top 10%, at least to his theory, like the top 10% of the iceberg. The rest is uh, hidden below. But, uh, yeah, it's not uncommon to see these generals be a little weak, but the whole market a whole lot more weak. Okay, let's see what we have out here. Okay, got 
that. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's the first thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Great uh, top call in the market. You can quote me on the radio. Do you think many of these funds used in quarters to orchestrate a short squeeze, which is now likely over? Um, I don't know if they cared so much about a uh, short squeeze. Um, I think they worried more about setting a price. Uh, and it's not uncommon that they uh, get there a little early and you get a little sell-off before uh, the last day of the month when they're setting these quarterly uh, highs in the market, but they, as long as the, uh, as long as the unwashed masses uh, uh, get their quarterly statement, and it's not too bad, then generally they're not going to issue a sell order. It's you're ten times more likely to have a sell order after a quarterly statement um, in the next week after they get it than you are at any other time if you're talking about 401k customers. So generally what they want to do is make that look really good and then sell and sell and sell, distribute, 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 which I suspect we're probably in that cycle, I think, till May. Uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong here soon enough, but I think it's more than likely I am right. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think this was nothing more than painting the tape and uh, I played it the other day, but I love this ad. It was uh, circa 1999 or 2000 um, when everybody was in the dot-com fever. Uh, it's kind of the equivalent of the uh, Bitcoin fever that we have now or the Ethereum. Uh, don't get me started on that. How do you steal $500 million worth of Ethereum? <laughs> okay, that's why I'm not in that stuff. Uh, anyway... Um, there was a couple ads. One I liked was uh, the best one I liked was the tow truck, uh, tow truck diver that had bought an island of his own uh, by being on E-Trade. Uh, there were a few other ones. I can't remember. The other one was uh, some uh, young guy had to to uh, be a plaything for this uh, uh, older lady, and he had to come in and rub the bunions. Uh, but another one out here was a bunch of people in a boiler room, and they had this, which is always the same thing, which is, let's put some lipstick on this pig. Let's put some lipstick on this pig. So that's this part of the ad. I can't remember the whole thing of it, but I just always remember that ad playing incessantly on CNBC during the dot-com bubble and bust. Uh, but uh, – that's kind of what I look at now, or at least I believe, that uh, they're pushing these markets up into the end of the quarter. Because guess what? In two weeks, they're going to get those 401k things, and they're going, well, things don't look that bad. And they're going to sit there and roast uh, the proverbial uh, boiled frog in the 401k. And uh, that's how it's done on Wall Street. Was it E-Trade, baby? I remember the other one I liked was, let's light this candle. They had a kind of a oily tech kid. He was a little poorly dressed. What's his name? I can't remember now. But he'd always go, let's light this candle. They had some really over-the-top ads back then. You don't get them now because they got sued for so many of them um, as encouraging gambling. Uh, but uh, that's it. In fact, I saw the first ad. Uh, for uh, similar stuff for brokers uh, from uh, one of the uh, number of personal uh, injury lawyers down here in Florida. So I think they're already gearing up uh, for when the market heads lower uh, and uh, getting ahead of the game and getting those ads out now. Um, but, uh, yeah, everybody's always a genius at the top. Okay, so we got that... Uh, Anyway, hopefully that answers your uh, question there. I'll answer that other one. Um, I'm holding calls for FCX. Okay. I'm new to options to start listening to your show. What are your thoughts on this stock? Um, you know, I'm going to say that you're probably looking at a lot of these things topping out. Uh, for a little while, I as I said, 
Uh, I'm expecting these probably to head lower. I'm looking for the economy to start shrinking. Um, we just had the president on. Looks like he's double uh, doubling down on less energy production in the United States, not more. Um, if you watch the uh, CBN, which is a Canadian broadcasting network uh, news, which I do occasionally, uh, they are begging to sell a million dollar a million barrels a day down in the United States. They can't get a, a, a phone answer at the White House. I think that there is a policy to make sure that there isn't much uh, energy available, maybe to push uh, their uh, dream of uh, green energy deal, whatever it is, maybe they believe in it. All I know is it's going to be a, a, a tsunami of inflation. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back uh, to the end of the day, we're down 24 points now on the S&P cash. And uh, uh, you're invited to uh, come to the uh, new tiger's den trading room on discord uh whether you have a mac or a pc you're equally welcome with their apps or you can even use their browser version of it and come on in but uh, you probably want to get the at least one of the uh apps and of course you can use it on your phone too so pretty cool anyway they're showing uh the best of the baby ads in uh from e-trade and some of these other companies 
Um, but uh, yeah, Dances with Wolves, good money, a uh, good movie. I'm just saying, arguably, that uh, Godfather was the best movie ever made. Even if it was the second best movie or third, who pans that movie? And someone did on Rotten Tomatoes. A, a big back in 1972, uh, a, a, a critic panned that movie. I do not know. Uh, oh, he found the ad. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at it here. Let me see. Oh, it's Stuart. I'm trying to remember his name. Thanks. I'll try to cut that up and see it. Yeah, but Stuart had all these light these candles uh, ads, but they're they're good to watch and remember. Um, okay, so other things going on out here. Thanks, Pete. And repeat. Um, anyway, not a big fan of uh, being in the metals. I like I said, I suspect inflation's going up. Uh, the economy's headed lower. And I don't think there's a lot happening. If we, the one thing that could change this market overnight is if we change the policy on energy. But uh, like I said, I don't see a hint. Uh, in fact, I see more doubling down on a policy of less domestic energy production, no matter what they say. Remember, these are all politicians, but uh, they are uh, in. They just have a worldview, and I don't think it matches with reality, but uh, they would say I'm, I'm as equally as stupid, so that's, we'll leave that to uh, eh, scholars and, and uh, other folks. But uh, to me, I don't think there's any choice in the matter. Higher energy prices, less energy is going to lead to massive inflation. It's not going to go away. And... Their, today's response with the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is just to get a few politicians off their back for the moment uh, and maybe slightly lower uh, gas prices. Uh, but it doesn't solve anything. It only it does is push it down the line. But uh, we've got uh, a lot of people trying to uh, talk uh, uh, the current administration into changing their policies, even uh, people um, from Goldman Sachs and uh, um, Morgan Stanley um, really telling them that they're missing the boat, trying to push them in the right direction, they think, of uh, more energy. But, uh, you know, I, it's very hard for me to see because generally politicians, the first job of them is to get reelected. And the number one uh, uh thing that uh, can kill that are gasoline prices because people look at that every few days they pay it it's not like the credit card at the end of the month where they don't think about it all month they hit it once or twice a week and especially people in rural areas maybe more so it is one of those things that really changes the zeitgeist politically so generally you want to have low fuel prices when elections come around if you want to get it reelected so there's a little bit of panacea today. That panacea could be gone in 45 days. There's not that much oil in the uh, Strategic Petroleum Reserve. What it does do is get rid of the prices right at the moment uh, and take kind of a little bit of the edge off. But uh, I don't think many people are going to know. They know in 60 days that's it. So if it does go down, maybe you just buy some more oil. Because you know, unless they change their mind, it's going higher in 60 days. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Okay. Uh, pretend and extend. Da -da -da. Okay. Okay. Uh, eh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I wouldn't bet on the war being over in 60 days. It's going to take a long time to drag uh, people to the uh, to any kind of agreement. And then will they start letting uh, Russia start selling oil like nothing happened? 
Interesting idea. I do not know the answer to that, by the way. Okay, other questions out here. Um, uh, if uh, anything drastically changed um, about oil production, well, certainly that would be next year. So I don't see anything, like I said, um, everybody's doubling down on the current energy policy, uh, and we've seen what that has brought us. So if you're betting, that's a good thing. Or if you like that, think it's a great thing, that's great. But uh, in, the, in the world of higher and lower, it's only going to make higher, uh, energy prices higher. Uh, take a quick look at NVIDIA. NVDA. Okay. Um, to, to, to. Um, this had a nice day. It had good earnings. I don't know what else you can say about it. Um, or that didn't have good earnings. It had that good day that we were talking about where they released their products. Uh, and this may be another reason to actually think that NVIDIA does better, but it's probably going to do better at the cost of Intel, not AMD. That's why I thought that it was kind of uh, interesting uh, to see the herd of folks all turn on AMD on a single day. I'm just assuming they all got short and plan this uh, weeks in advance, because generally this thing, uh, it just doesn't happen organically. Uh, they're all probably having cocktails somewhere and think, hey, eh, well, just kind of like uh, trading places where they'll just bet a dollar or something. But uh, in this case, they're probably gonna make uh, enough money to buy them another Hampton's home. But, uh, you know, would it gone down probably anyway? They generally don't try to uh, try to uh, do things like go against the grain of the market in the first place. But they will do something like buy a ton of puts and then come out with this the next day, and the puts are for Friday and clean house. So, yeah. But uh, has it gone and uh, has any of these, uh, I'm talking about AMD and showing Intel. Let's go back to AMD. To, 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 okay. Um, I mean, you're back to 110. I think I was already saying this is the weakest of the two of AMD and, in, uh, and uh, NVIDIA. And I was looking for a retrace to 100 anyway. Um, I think they just made a lot of cash by all coming out with the Barclays downgrade, which is probably a little overdone. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And another question from a gentle listener about Apple. You got to watch Apple here. Um, you had uh, 100 million shares on the, what should have been a breakout. You got no uh, follow through the next day or two. Um, so you had eh, basically 10% more volume than the uh, January 9th high. You're right now at the exact same price as that uh, high, 176.65. So if this closes back lower, I expect this to hold up better than a lot. But uh, I think it's still problematic to see uh, even the generals not being able to clean house as they go higher. The, the biggest problem I have with Apple, uh, not only do they have a lot of cash, is they have a lot of people shorting it, at least in a day. And I, you, you short the weak, you don't short the strongest. Um, and so I, I, it may hold up better than the rest, Microsoft, but uh, I'm not a big fan of it. NFLX, let's look at the other usual suspects out here. Um, as we said, uh, Netflix yesterday, and it's not doing anything. It's down a like volume, probably the best thing you can say about it. Overall, the volume today is about equal with yesterday's. Um, and again, the first couple of days off the highs or lows, uh, don't tend to be off of incredible long term. Don't tend to have lots of volume either way. I can remember the lows, and I want to say 2002 in March. Um, maybe it was 675. Maybe it was later. I can't remember right now. But I, I want somehow 675 sticks in my head uh, for the low of uh, of uh, 2003, and it went up to a thousand on the S&P before any volume came in. Because generally, uh, at highs and long-term lows, volume is a little different. They do uh, not ever believe it. And that's what makes such great highs and lows in the market. And that is, you get everybody on the one side, they've made a lot of money either on the high side, or thrown their stocks away at the very low, and then, the market turns and they can't buy if it's a low and they can't sell if it's at highs so that tends to be one of those things uh we're off uh if that's correct uh, well let me update it just to make sure and yeah, we're off 26 points on the s p cash okay um so anyway there's netflix uh take a look at amazon and then we'll look at uh, metamucil here in a minute um you're actually getting um, a break below the uh, three by three displaced moving average on Amazon. It's another one of these stocks that probably should be the strongest in the market. Um, I'm going to assume that uh, the bigger problem out here is uh, uh, problems with China supplying product, i.e. Uh, supply chain disruption, which I, I forgot what the percentage of uh, products that they sell come from China, but it's extremely high. Uh, so that could be still it. Okay. Um, let's see what else is out here that uh, is interesting. Uh, question about CCJ. 
as I said, it's hard to think that anything in energy is a bad play these days unless we change our policy here in the United States. And I don't think that's a high probability. Um, I think it's probably a fairly low probability that we actually truly encourage uh, more drilling and more production. Um, so what do we have? You got a nice move out here. You just don't have any volume. The problem is uh, it may be the best house in a bad neighborhood. And one of the reasons why I'd probably be out of things that are probably fairly good like FCX and probably lean more uh, to uh, the walking dead stocks, things where the apocalypse is coming. I'm not expecting it to be that bad, but I do think that a lot of people are going to think it's that bad. Uh, we had some sharp pullbacks. They've had a very easy opportunity to sell. And generally on the uh, other side of this is just uh, continue selling uh, if this is a top, is continual selling. But it is the frog boiling type. That is, you go down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then everybody's kind of stuck, um, kind of hung out like rats on a ship. Um, but uh, they have not figured out it's time to leave. Uh, anyway, uh, Kamiko, nice one, probably outperforms the market. I suspect if we do head lower, uh, gold does better than silver. Uh, Kamiko does probably as good as uh, the rest of the energy sector. But that's it. Um, okay, what do we have out here? Okay, quick look at Tesla. And what do I know about uh, lithium uh, sulfur batteries? Uh, there are people out here talking up EVs on uh, lithium sulfur batteries instead of lithium ion batteries. Uh, there's a working lithium sodium battery, or sodium, lithium um, sulfur battery uh, that has twice the energy density of what Tesla is selling today. So it actually be an increase. Uh, it's a little bit more weight for the same volume. So you're not getting quite, quite twice as much for the same weight, but it's good. It's not bad. I think it's uh, maybe 10 or 15 percent uh, more heavy. Uh, the problem is that why they can make one battery or maybe even 10 batteries or maybe even enough for a single car, they rely on a mesh uh, to keep um, the chemicals from one side of the battery with me uh, meshing with the other ones. And they're talking about uh, a very nice uh, graphene version of this. The problem is that there are a bunch of companies uh, that all have individual stuff working. They just haven't worked out the ability to make graphene uh, in the kind of volume and at the price point that would be better than what you have now with the lithium ions. So maybe that replaces it. I don't know when it would. But uh, the hurdle is to make high-quality graphene uh, for a filter to go between uh, the positive and negative sides of the chemistry in the battery. It does work. Everybody likes it. Just can you build it and build it in volume? They can build a handful so far. They just don't know if they can build a lot. And it's going to take a lot. It's been, what, 10 years since graphene really became a, a household uh, name. Uh, I think it was invented in 2005, 2012, I want to say. Uh, the inventors got the Nobel Prize for the most inventing stuff. Everybody knows it's great. But uh, I'll go back to the example of transistors. The first one was uh, 1926. It was till 1952 before the commercialization and mass production first started. 877-927-6648. And that's it. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Anyway, the question was on Tesla and uh, whether or not these batteries would make a big difference. you got three days going sideways out here. My guess is they're going to try to expire this thing right at 1100 and fry a bunch of people that were short because they're always short, <laughs> Tesla, uh, at least in the, uh, in the options. So, no, I think if they're going to do their darndest to make sure this expires at 1100 tomorrow. I don't. I didn't like much uh, about the chances of this doing much higher, but at the same time, I didn't think much about it going lower after the news in the split. A lot of these guys uh, are dyed in the wool cult members, and there's nothing worse than trading a cult stock and not believing in the cult for the first 95 percent of it. The last five percent, of course, is Enron. Uh, anyway. Uh, what else do we have out here? What everybody want to look at? Oh, SMHs uh, for the end of the day out here. Um, eh, production numbers. I know they don't have parts for seats. They're missing chips for a bunch of stuff. So maybe they are, will miss their production numbers, but. 
I, I think they're delivering it and just saying that the seats will be adjustable at a later date. <laughs> just like Ford is doing the same thing with uh, various parts. You can have your car, and we'll give you the other part when it becomes available. Uh, SMH is when it comes in. Um, you did break the uh, 3x3 today. Volume, we're going to have to wait until the end of the day. Uh, it's a little light now, but you get 30% of the volume in the last hour generally. At least. So we'll have to wait on that. Anyway, tomorrow I think it's going to be a big day. Uh, don't be a fool when you wake up in the morning. Question everything. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow.